I was actually supposed to have a test meeting for one of my classes yesterday, but the meeting was accidentally scheduled for 2021, like September 13th, 2021. So today's the first time I'm meeting all my classmates. Hi everybody, my name is Tula V and I'm a freshman in college. So today is my first day of classes ever and it's online. Also just want to get this out of the way with, uh, I was hoping for some better lighting, but there is a tropical storm outside. <whistles> Mother Nature said no high quality shots today and for the rest of the week. So um, bear with me, please. Nobody cares, but um, this is the outfit in case the teachers force us to turn our Zoom cameras on. Please no, please no, please no, please no. It is currently 11.51 on Monday, September 14th. My first class starts at 12. I have chem from 12 until 1.20, and then I have math 21 from 1.30 till 2.30. So I have a pretty short day. I have two and a half hours with a 10 minute break in between, and that's my schedule every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have different classes Tuesday, Thursday, and you guys will get to hear about those later on in the week. I actually uh, took time to look put together today so everyone thinks that I am sane um, and that's the goal as long as I can get through the first like week with everyone thinking oh she seems normal goal accomplished in reality I'm locked inside with my family because there's a hurricane outside and um, I don't know what's going on just the sheer amount of social anxiety right now I can't deal with it I want to meet new people so bad but like give me a chance to meet new people and I will actually like cry. I have like five minutes until class starts now, so I'm gonna go ahead and log on. I will film as much of that as possible and then I'll tell you guys how it went after. Here's what I'll look like. You're propped up on my computer. The lighting's changed a little bit. It looks weird on my phone, but I've perfected zoom lighting so that I actually look decently attractive on my computer. Uh, this is a bad angle though right now, but I have everything set up. I'm all prepared and I am actually going to die. I'm so scared. Bro, I hate this. Here's my canvas with all my lectures. I have coffee. I'll need that. I've never talked to these people before. What if they think I'm actually insane? This is worse than if it was in person. If it was in person, I could like find people to meet and like know people beforehand. Oh my gosh. What's RE? Okay, cool. Didn't know that existed. Oh, yeah, that would help. That's probably the point. I guess it would make sense. That means you're not a freshman then. <laughs> Just finished my first class. Honestly, I was like way too worried. It was fine. It wasn't stressful. There were like 240 people, so no one was paying attention to me. Um, and it was great. We had like two different breakout rooms and everyone was really nice, and it was like, dare I say, fun. It's the most social interaction I've had in a very long time. We got off the topic of moonwalking for some bizarre reason, and we started talking about Michael Jackson, and just a reminder, I'm in Kim. Someone types he he in the box, and I almost lost it. I thought that was the funniest thing. You get it, because helium helium, because we were talking about the periodic table, and Michael Jackson, I, Really, my entire chem class was about to see me lose my mind in the middle of that lecture. I have math in like five minutes, so I'm getting ready for that. The lighting situation is basically as bad as it gets. Sorry. I just finished up with my math 21 class, and I'm just going to kind of chat for a little bit while I open this giant box that I got from Stanford. It's from the chemistry department, I can only assume, because it says chemistry on it. So this is probably my lab kit for this term because uh, all of our labs are at home with something in this box. Um, so I'm gonna open this while I tell you guys how my day went, my first day of college classes ever. So my math class, which is my second class of the day, has significantly fewer people than my chemistry class. Chemistry is like 260 or something crazy, 240, and then math is like 87. 
but we do breakout groups in chem and we didn't do any breakout groups in math. Breakout groups are my favorite. Like I know they give people anxiety, but I feel like I just need human interaction. Oh my God, what is this tape made of? I hope there's nothing breakable in here. It's not happening. Here we go. There's chemicals in here. Goggles, bunch of gloves that'll probably be too big for my hands. Something in bubble wrap, can't wait for that. My site class is asynchronous, so uh, they post their lectures on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I'll probably try to do that at some point tomorrow. I have a break between my writing class and then my math discussion, which I have both tomorrow. I'll film those. Um, but I might try to get my psych lecture, at least watch it tomorrow. So I'm supposed to read this. I'm supposed to read the intro in the first chapter and the first week of school. And I'm wondering, like if I should start it now. I've got my first discussion section, which is hosted by like the TAs and everything tomorrow. And I'm actually really excited about that because I feel like I'll actually be able to like talk to other people more than the lectures. And it's like an hour long, so it's like three o'clock and um, rainy as heck. Oh, I got my chem textbook. I did the rental thing where you send it back in like December. I might like try to join a Zoom call or something and make friends. Uh, because I'm really lonely. I have classes like every day of the week, but none of them start earlier than 12 because I'm in central time. So Pacific time is like two hours behind. I'll probably be back later today if I read or something like that and just let y'all know how it went. <laughs> Look at what we just got. A hurricane warning and a storm surge warning. You know what? Online classes, because we can't be in person because we're in the middle of a pandemic and hurricane warning and storm surge, so we can't go outside and we're stuck inside for at least probably a week. First week of college couldn't be going better. I am thriving. I'm doing great. I'm back. It's a little while later. I reread over my chem notes because our teacher told us to do that at some point within the next day. Uh, it was just on Adam, so it was really simple. And I had some dinner, and that's really it for today. Tomorrow I'll be back. I have two different classes. I have a discussion for my math class and my writing class. I'll see you tomorrow. It's 9.49 and I just woke up. Class doesn't start for like another two and a half hours. But I'm going to go ahead and get up and get ready and see if I can get any work for like my asynchronous class or something like that done. I'm back. I got ready. I did my makeup and everything. And I am just about to start my class for writing my PWR. It's called The Rhetoric of Disability. So that starts in like five minutes because it's 1225. It's an hour and 20 minutes long. And I think it's a pretty small class. Like I think there's only 15 of us or something. So I'm actually going to have to talk, which is kind of scary. Like I could see, I could see where it could have been an awareness video as well, but it was definitely a lot of marketing in the sense that you kind of had that tone shift and that positive nature really begin when they brought the iPad in. Hello, I'm back. I just finished up with my first class of the day, which was my PWR rhetoric and disability class. It is a writing class and um, it's required that you take one of these PWR classes at some point in your freshman year. I was assigned to fall quarter, which is obviously right now, um, and so I got placed in rhetoric of disability. Honestly, it was really great. It was really fun. We had a ton of breakout groups um, and then I have a writing assignment that I'm going to start at some point this week. Uh, because I think we have like three or four different papers that we turn in over the course of the next nine weeks. In one of my breakout rooms, someone recognized me from YouTube. I almost cried. That's so embarrassing. I, like, every time someone does that, I'm like, people actually watch me? The class was super small. There were only like 15 people. 
uh, which was really nice because uh, we're going to be able to do a ton of breakout groups and I'll probably be able to get to know everyone in that class over the next nine weeks. Right now it is 1.56. I don't have another class until 2.30 and that is my math discussion for Math 21. That's an hour. It goes until 3.30. So I have like another 30-ish minutes just to do something. So I'm going to try to find something productive to do and I'll be back later. It's 2.29 so my calc discussion starts in a minute so I'm about to go to that. Okay, I just got done with my math discussion section and not gonna lie, I'm like more confused than I was after the lecture. That did not go well for me uh, and I'm really concerned now. I, it was going so well up until this point. I didn't like this. My psych teacher has now posted the second half of the lecture for Tuesday. Uh, so I'm gonna go do that, take some notes, um, and then I'll probably be done for the day because I've already done my reading and everything. I just got done taking notes for my psych lecture and now the Wi-Fi is down. We still have power but uh, no signal. So I can't really do anything else now because uh, I already have all my readings done. So I guess I'm done for today because it's like 4.12. There we go. I just got up and guess what happened? The Wi-Fi and the power are both out. Uh, so I don't know how I'm going to do my classes because even data is not working right now. Like I try to get on my phone and nothing lands. It's like 10 right now. So class starts at 12. Um, but I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go to class. So. Hi everybody, I just got dressed and uh, long story short, my neighbors have Wi-Fi and we don't. So I'm about to go to my neighbor's house to do my class. It's like 11.10 right now um, and hope that the Wi-Fi is back by the time I get here. I also have to print out a ton of stuff. I did my hair um, and I thought it was really cute but my brother said I look like a Fortnite character. There was um... A change in plans, I guess you could say. I'm at the hospital right now because it's the only place in town with Wi-Fi and power. Uh, yeah, so basically I took both my lectures here and now I'm working on a little bit of um, other stuff. I also missed the first 20 minutes of my chem lecture, so I'm re-watching that. Reading. Yay. It's 6.30 and I feel kind of nauseous because I haven't eaten or drinking any water all day, which is really great. Um, but I like I do any more work, I think I'm going to die. So I'm just going to call it a day and go home and hope that we have Wi-Fi tomorrow because if not, I'm in a really, really bad position. Hello everybody, today is Thursday. Once again, I'm ready but I haven't put on any makeup because we have no power and no Wi-Fi. Uh, you can hear construction noises outside because my window is open because we have no AC and we live in Florida and it's summer. It's like 9.30 right now, so in two hours I'm gonna head up to the hospital because that's the only place in town with Wi-Fi um, and that's the only place I can connect to a Zoom call. Today I have my rhetoric and disability class at 12.30 and then I have my chem section discussion a little bit later. I think it doesn't start until like three something. Uh, so I have a really big break in between those classes and I'll probably use that time to get some of my lecture work done for sec. I really don't know why I recorded this. Here's a cabinet and here's the fire extinguisher and the first aid kit and the spill kit. All the things you guys definitely want to know. Super interesting, I'm sure. Okay, I just finished with my chem discussion section. It went pretty well. We did a ton of practice problems, which were really helpful. We have office hours starting Sunday, so I'm going to redo all the practice problems. If I have any trouble in any of those, I'll go to office hours or something. But I just learned that we have Wi-Fi and power back at home for the first time in two days, and I'm really excited. So I'm going home now to do the rest of my work. Thank goodness. It is so cold here. Um, and I need to go to the bathroom and I'm too scared to walk out of this room. I've locked myself in here. I'm home and look at that, the light is on.
Wi-Fi. Oh my gosh, this has been the worst week. I cannot believe this was the week that I decided to vlog. I had a few calls today. They were really honestly uneventful. But when I got home, I was on a Zoom call with Stanford mock trial. <laughs> it was so nice. I miss mock trial so much. Not me falling in love with an extracurricular I don't have time for. We have one more day left and that is tomorrow, Friday. It's probably going to be the only normal day in this entire thing, so I'll be back later. Hello, it is Friday and I just got done with my chem lecture. I have my math class coming up. I have my notes printed out and that starts in five minutes. Chem actually went really well today. I understood everything, which is nice because I can't say that about all the time. I also have some really good study groups going, which I really appreciate. I have one for math and chem, and honestly, those are the biggest ones for me for sure. Also, office hours start next week, which is gonna be really nice if I'm looking up, I'm trying to find my next class. Today was actually a lot of review about um, quantum numbers, which I really understood pretty well back in uh, high school. So that was nice. And I've also been working a lot on a two to three page essay due for Psych 70 on Tuesday. And I'm already on my second page, which is nice. Um, it'll probably end up being three pages because I really like the topic that I'm writing about. It's about a conflict that I've had and I had a really big conflict back in like December. Um, so I can rant about that a lot. It doesn't actually have to like incorporate any information we've learned in the class. They just want you to rant, um, which I'm great at. So it's going really well. We're doing convergence tests today in math, which I actually have gone over before, um, so it's going to be a review, but I forgot it all because I did it like a year and a half ago. Um, like almost actually two years. Wow, it's been a long time. Um, so I'm going to relearn that and then I'll be back after this lecture, which is like an hour long. See ya! I'm back in my little recording area in the corner of my room because it's the only place with good lighting. It is currently 5.30. I'm done with the majority of my homework and honestly probably all my work for the day. It was a really productive day for me. I got a lot of my psych essay written. I had my math lecture at 2.30 and it went really well. I understood everything. Um, and then I got on a Zoom call with some brand new people and we worked on the homework, which was really great. I had a ton of questions on the homework with L'Hopital's rule especially, and there were super nice people that were willing to help me figure it out. And we helped each other get through all of the problems. There were 11 problems on the PSAT for this week. It's due next Wednesday. We were able to get through 10 of them all on our own, which I think is pretty good. We didn't need help from any of the instructors. There was one left that I do not understand and I don't know how to do it. Honestly, my experience so far, it's been a crazy week, but it's been a really great one. Uh, I'm about to go to dinner. There are no restaurants in the area open because the power all went out and they're not about to serve food out of the freezer that had no power for three days. Uh, so we're about to drive like an hour, an hour and a half away to figure out where to eat. Just as about to film an outro. Again. <coughs> you should like and comment and subscribe anyway. That's it. Hello, everybody. It's Saturday, and you'll never guess what just happened. The power's out again.